Hi, I'm Steve and welcome to my kitchen. Today I would like to show you how to bake no-knead bread in a toaster oven. Like this, and it's perfect for sandwiches. I'll be using 14 ounces warm water, one and a half teaspoon salt, one and one quarter teaspoons instant yeast, and three and a half cups bread flour. I'm going to start with 14 ounces tap water. This is warm water in a warm bowl. One and a quarter teaspoons yeast. One and one half teaspoons salt. And I'll give it a quick stir to combine. Three and a half cups bread flour. I'll start with a half. I'll put it on the side, that way it doesn't splash. Now three cups. One. Two. Three. I'm going to combine the wet and dry ingredients. Notice I'm not exerting a lot of effort. All I'm doing is introducing the flour to the water and see how it starts to come together. This is something that everybody can do, including young children. When you get to this point, you want to clean the flour off the sides to get it into the middle. And I'm going to tumble it. When you tumble it, you expose the wet to the dry, and it helps incorporate it. It takes the least amount of effort when you do it that way. And look at that, it's already coming together. I'm just going to run around the bowl one time to put it into a ball. And that's all there is. I covered the bowl with plastic wrap, and it's ready to proof. The ideal proofing temperature is 78 to 85 degrees, but most of our homes are 68 to 73 degrees. To create a favorable proofing environment, I place the bowl under my desk lamp, where the plastic wrap will trap the heat and raise the temperature inside the bowl to a little over 80 degrees. By creating the favorable proofing environment, I know my dough will be ready in one and a half hours. Turbo dough should proof for one hour and 30 minutes in a warm, draft-free environment. It's been an hour and 30 minutes. It's time to make the bread. Before we start, I would like to make one point. A toaster oven will frequently bake the crust before reaching an internal temperature of 185 to 220 degrees. So I use what I call a poor man's Dutch oven to protect the crust. Simply stated, a poor man's Dutch oven is a bread pan covered by another bread pan. The purpose of the bottom bread pan is to shape the loaf into sandwich bread, and the purpose of the cover is to create a mini environment that protects the crust while the crumb bakes. You can use either a 9x5 or 8.5x4.5 inch matching bread pans. As you can see, the dough has risen and more than doubled in size. That little dust lamp did an excellent job. I'm going to start by spraying the bottom pan with no stick spray. Then I'll degas, pull and stretch the dough. Scrape it into one ball. Roll it over into the pan. I'll spread it just a little bit. Put the cover on. There, it's ready to proof. Poor man's Dutch oven. No need turbo dough should be proofed for 30 minutes. It's been 30 minutes. It's time to bake the bread. 
I place the poor man's Dutch oven in the toaster oven. Set the oven to 400 degrees and set the timer for 45 minutes. Note, I did not preheat the toaster oven. It's been 45 minutes and the bread is ready. Take the clips off. Take the top off. And use my hot pads is still warm. Look at that loaf. That is a gorgeous loaf made in a toaster oven. Bread making is this easy. This recipe was specifically designed for my new cookbook, Cooking Without a Kitchen, eco-friendly, quick and easy cooking. This is my personal cookbook, the real world cookbook I pick up and use when I bake at home. It reflects my personal taste and lifestyle. If you like this recipe and technique, you will find it and others like it at NoNeedBreadCentral.com, a website dedicated to providing quick and easy access to no-need bread resources. Thanks for watching.